Well, another dead DC project has come back to life over on Amazon, and it's brought a couple friends with them. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about the return of Merry Little Batman, along with the spin-off Bat Family. Well, for fans of DC animated projects, Amazon seems to be the place we're going to want to be. As many of you know, they recently grabbed two seasons of Batman Cape Crusader, which was a big win for fans, and now it appears they've picked up another Batman project. Actually, two. Last year, we had a project called Merry Little Batman, which was described as somewhat of a Home Alone adventure focused on the young son of Bruce Wayne, Damian Wayne. And now it appears Amazon has indeed picked up that project. Along with that, they're also doing another project called Bat Family, both of which, like Cape Crusader, are going to hail from Warner Brothers Discoveries, Warner Brothers Animation, and DC. Now, we got descriptions for both projects, and they're pretty straightforward, with this first little bit of art giving us an idea of what to expect. Merry Little Batman is going to be an action family comedy, which is basically a Damian Wayne adventure in the spirit of Home Alone, transforming him into Little Batman. Now, we know this will see him defend his home and Gotham City from various villains, and you can kind of see how this could come together in a rather interesting holiday special. Now, the project is being directed by regular show's Mike Roth and was written by Teen Titans Go! Morgan Evans. So, based on all these details, it becomes pretty clear, along with the art, what to expect. Now, Bat Family will spin directly out of this and will follow Batman, Alfred, and young Damien, who has now officially taken up the title of Little Batman, alongside some newcomers to Wayne Manor as they navigate the fun and frustrations of a life as a superhero family. Now, in usual fashion, this is pretty good news for any of us fans who lost projects when David Zasloff took over at Warner Brothers Discovery. We're seeing more and more DC content show up in these new places, like Amazon Prime, and honestly, this very different version of the Batman and Damian characters living here on Prime should be a lot of fun for the people that it's targeted for, although I might not be that crowd. It's clearly going to be a series focused on young kids and families, but we always need new generations of fans, and that makes it a good thing. It also serves as the example of another project that's come to life after it was cancelled, so for many of us Young Justice fans, that should give us a little bit more hope. 